so there are many motorway services around the UK and a lot of them serve food but how good is the food? Well today I'm going to find out because I'm going to be trying breakfast from this one. So the motorway services I'm visiting today is the extra Skelton Lake services in Leeds located at junction 45 of the M1 and as you can see it's a pretty modern one with this extravagantly designed huge building. Who knew motorway services would get as fancy as this? It's probably one of the biggest services I've ever seen. If there's a bigger one out there, comment below where it is. Let's head in. The inside is large, but surprisingly, not as large as it seems from the outside. It's like a reverse TARDIS. There's loads of seating available throughout and food offerings too. Plus, you get an overlooking balcony seating area, which I decided is where I'll be eating my meal today. The place I'll be getting my food from is called The Good Breakfast. And if the name's anything to go by, I'm looking forward to it. So let's head up and get ordering. There are a few options available, but the one I'm going for is the ultimate breakfast, right there. Plus my usual cup of tea. So let's have a quick drink before I tuck in to my food. Right, so here is the ultimate breakfast I ordered. There's quite a few items here, so let's have a closer look at what's included. You get two rashers of bacon, a fried egg, three sausages, two hash browns, a plum tomato, some baked beans, some fried mushrooms, a slice of black pudding, and a couple of slices of toast on the side with butter for each. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the sausages. They've got some good colour on them and I'm guessing they're oven cooked. I do have to mention though that the majority of the items are ready made sitting on a hot plate waiting to be plated up, so not cooked to order. You can be the judge whether you think pubs and restaurants do this too and you just don't see it, or if you think they're made fresh. Let's give these a try. Nice. They're better than I expected. The outside has a slight snap to it with a good fried oily flavour. The inside tastes salty and porky. The texture is meaty and has a great bite and chew. It's not the highest meat content sausage, but it tastes good. Let's move on to the mushrooms. Now it does look like a small portion, but there are more under the other items. So it's a regular portion you get. Let's see how they taste. Very good. The mushrooms have a nice meaty bite and I always prefer them when they're cut into smaller pieces rather than having one giant one. They've got a strong mushroom flavour, which I was surprised about, and also a satisfying oily fried flavour too. They're good mushrooms. I'm going to move on to the beans next. They look like your standard beans. Will they be Heinz or will they not? There's only one way to find out. Let's try them. Decent. I'm guessing they're not Heinz as they do taste on the sweeter side. The portion is good. You get a lot more than you would at many places. And you can see there that they've begun mixing in with the mushrooms. So that should be a good combo for later on. In the meantime, let's move on to the hash browns. You get two in this meal and they're pretty big ones too. They're one of my favourite things to eat and I can't wait to try these out. So let's just go ahead and do it. Delicious. The outside is crispy so you get a nice crunch when you bite into it. You also get that great fried potato flavour. The inside is more rustic with pieces of potato. With some hash browns the inside is pretty much all mashed potato so it's smoother. But these ones have a bit more of a bite to them. 
Now this next item is a bit unusual. It's a tinned plum tomato. Normally you would get half a grilled fresh tomato or chopped tinned tomatoes. So this is something new. Let's try it. Nice. There's no skin on this tomato so it's soft when you bite into it. The flavour is slightly sweet and slightly sour. There's a bit of tartness as well. The texture though is really soft. It almost melts in your mouth. I like it. Let's move on to arguably the best item on a breakfast. The bacon. You get two rashers here and as mentioned it's pre-made in batches ready to be dished up. I've cut off a piece with both the meat and the fat. Let's give it a try. Delicious. It's a thicker cut bacon so you get a great bite and meaty chew. Maybe slightly too much of a chew but still good. The flavour is salty, porky and meaty. The fat adds almost a meaty creaminess which is a needed contrast. It's good bacon. Let's move on to the egg. Now this was one of the few items made fresh and I got the option to choose if I wanted it well done or flipped or with a runny yolk. I chose a runny yolk and it looks to be perfect. Let's give it a taste. Fantastic. The egg white is soft and light. It falls apart with barely any chew. The edges are slightly crisp so you get a good fried flavour. The yolk is rich, thick and creamy and the combination of the two together just complements each other so well. One item that is a love it or hate it one is the black pudding. You only get this on the ultimate breakfast and I'm surprised it's offered as many people would be happy to not have it. This to me looks to be a good one. Let's see if it is. Delicious. It is indeed. The outside is crispy so you get a bit of a delicate crunch as you bite into it which is satisfying. The inside is crumbly and has a bit more of a chew to many that I've had before. It's not as cake like, it feels more rustic but I like it. There's one more thing I need to try before I go in for some combos. The toast. So I do need to mention here the toast is an added extra. It's not included with the breakfast which I thought was a bit stingy. So if you want toast, you have to order it separately. Anyway, let's eat it. Nice. The toast is crispy, so you get a good crunch as you bite into it. The middle is soft, which gives a contrasting chew. But the real star of the show here is the butter. I got a pack of butter for each slice and the flavor is really creamy and milky. You definitely need a whole pack of butter for each slice to really appreciate it. Right, I think it's combo bite time. This first one is the sausage, a bit of mushroom, the crispy hash brown and soft egg, plus a dip in the beans. Here it goes. Amazing. The next one is even better. It's the bacon, the black pudding, the egg, the tomato, and not forgetting a dip in the beans. Fantastic. And for the ultimate bite, everything on the plate. This is a huge mouthful. So let's hope I can eat it all in one go. Let's go for it. Incredible. This was a decent breakfast. You have all the items that you could ever want, although you do have to add some of them as extras, such as the toast and the tea. For an ultimate breakfast though, I would have expected two eggs rather than one. And if you had two eggs and included the toast, I think it would have been a fantastic deal. Right now, it's only decent. But I still managed to combo my way through it all the way to the end. So that was a nice breakfast. The bacon was pretty good. 
So the total cost of that meal was £14.77, which is a little expensive, but then again, it is a motorway services, so things are usually more expensive here. So was that worth it? Comment down below your thoughts. For me, I would say it probably was. I mean, don't get me wrong, anywhere else, this meal is probably under a tenner, but for motorway services, I think it's pretty decent. Okay, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey and I'll see you there.